Welcome to Books in Sum. Here go to for bite-sized book summaries. He Comes Next by Ian Kerner, Ph.D. In this sequel to the hugely popular and indispensable book, She Comes First, Dr. Ian Kerner shares valuable lessons on how to drive your man to sexual ecstasy. He details the precise ways in which you can undo the bad habits of self-gratification that many men have picked up and give them a mind-blowing experience. He also explains why Viagra is more of a crutch than an aid, how to take advantage of hormones like dopamine, norpinephrine and vasopressin, and how to give your man a full body, global orgasm. The pelvic area is a highly guarded area, and the glands, or head of the penis, is the most physically sensitive part of the body. The testicles also experience an automatic, physiological reaction during sexual arousal, and when it comes to the penis, we must also pay attention to the foreskin. The sexual difficulties and anxieties of men are perpetuated by being too penis-centric and by perpetuating the intercourse discourse, which is the misguided idea that sex is all about the penis and penetration. This can lead to bad masturbation habits, as many men use readily available porn clips to cut straight to the chase when self-pleasuring. Additionally, Viagra, the erectile dysfunction drug, has created unrealistic expectations of sexual performance. To address these issues, it is important to establish a channel of trust about each other's sexual anxiety and desires, and to make it clear that his penis isn't even needed to give you an orgasm, so he should worry less about his size and hardness and more about your clitoris or other desires. Viagra is the most popular drug in a line of pharmaceuticals that have preyed on male anxieties about the ideal firmness and duration of their erections. This has led to erectile dysfunction in the first place, which is great for big pharma and bad for sex. To avoid this, it is important to have a holistic and thoughtful approach to sex that takes into account the psychological factors and the relationship as a whole. Desire is the key to keeping sex interesting and fresh, as it is fueled by key biochemicals like dopamine and norpinephrine. When the author conducted a survey, most men said that the best sex they'd ever had was with their current long-term partner, and the reason wasn't about any fancy positions or anything like that. To restore desire, avoiding predictability is key. The most important details in this book are that sexual boredom is usually one of the first two reasons why a couple's sex life hits the dumps, so it is important to incorporate elements of novelty, surprise and mystery to reignite those early feelings of desire. Additionally, fantasy can increase sexual pleasure by making it part of foreplay, and neuroscience has shown that the process of fantasizing can stimulate the brain in a way that relaxes the body. Additionally, partners should encourage a healthy sexual fantasy world to spice up a sex life that may have grown stale and routine. Finally, foreplay should be expanded to include the exploration of fantasies as a way of sparking desire. Great sex requires an emotional connection and a willingness to slow things down. To restore this, couples should hug and embrace each other at least three times a day, act out or stimulate each other's fantasy, and maintain eye contact during sex. Slow down the arousal process by touching, teasing and building up the excitement without resorting to genital stimulation. Relaxation is key to arousal, so it's important to explore ways to calm him down and not just turn him on. Men can experience different levels of orgasm, such as a local orgasm focused solely on the penis, or an expansive global orgasm, which accompanies a full-bodied response. To achieve a global sensation, it is important to think and act globally, such as getting him fully naked, tying him up, blindfolding, and adding a full-body massage. When working toward direct genital stimulation, keep the global feelings alive by moving slowly in a teasing way and keeping the pace slow, and the strokes gentle, exploratory, and non-rhythmic. Additionally, stimulate the upper and lower body simultaneously to get a wide variety of nerve endings going and provide double the amount of erotic anticipation. Finally, mind-blowing sex starts with pleasing, squeezing and taking it easy. To give a man a mind-blowing orgasm, it is important to be attuned to his feelings and know the precise time to apply the right kind of stimulation. This includes gently touching the entire genital area, applying deeper pressure with fingertips, and using the mouth unpredictably. Pleasure and sexual anticipation can also be increased by using the penis to stimulate and rub the clitoris. To make a man come hard, keep him at the plateau phase for as long as possible. If he does get too excited, follow the squeeze with an at ease, which involves taking a break from genital stimulation and moving to another area of his body for some kissing and caressing. To build up tension, one should increase the pace of rhythmic stroking while decreasing the periods of non-rhythmic stimulation. This is best done with a grasp and clasp technique which alternates between long, firm strokes and short ones that are focused on the frenulum. To take it up another notch, use your mouth to form a seal over the glands while still maintaining a firm grip on his shaft. 
Unless your man no longer has a pulse, the stage should be set for intercourse. To give him the best orgasm possible, don't let him take control of rhythm. Instead, use his penis as you would a vibrator or dildo, and dictate the angles and gyrations. When you have him at the moment before orgasmic inevitability, bring him back to the plateau again and again until you're completely satisfied. If your man isn't in the position to tell you he's about to reach the point of no return, recognize it as the moment his body reaches a point of maximum tension. The key message in this book is that for many men, their sexual organ is a source of both pleasure and stress, leading to a lifetime of bad or barely satisfying sex. To reach their full sexual potential, men need help to liberate themselves from being overly focused on their penises and experience full-body orgasms. To share fantasies while avoiding potential judgment, use the I had a dream method. This method allows you to package your fantasy, as if it were a wild dream you had, giving voice and planting the seeds of your fantasy without worry. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.